Hi guys, it's time again for another review from me and uh, you know I'm into a lot of peripherals and uh, lately I have been been contemplating of changing again my mouse I did review this one it's the Rapo M200 I don't know how it's pronounced it's Rapu Rapu or Rapo Rapu M200 mouse uh, aesthetically pleasing and uh, in terms of ergonomics quite okay but if I had to convince you in what kind of mouse as a designer or as a user you would get I would really really like to suggest you get the Logitech one you know this one is uh, the one I used for the longest and uh, they call it the MX Anywhere so they already have a series of this Anywhere the first one the two the 2s there's a bigger one of this the MX series also from Logitech but any kind of MX series I would recommend to you this one has served me a lot of years it has a lot of, of, of buttons but the, the best thing about this that I observed after using for a year this one I used maybe around six months now and I have encountered just one issue in terms of usage it's quite light looks it, it matches all my style here of white this one I quit using this one because it kind of became just old clunky and has been having issues with the scroll wheel and whatnot so yeah it has failed in this aspect in terms of the buttons because all of these are, are mechanical and working when you push them and, and by wear or by wear and tear it kind of just quit on me and I was looking for a new one uh, preferably in white but it's quite hot here that's why my hands are wet and I'm looking for a white version of this and I couldn't find one and this is quite expensive you can buy this second hand at around a hundred dollars or even fifty dollars if you get the you get a, maybe something that somebody else just quits on using but a brand new one would, would set you back at around 100 to 150 and the other series at 200 they have several versions of this but what's best about this one is that you can use it in any kind of surface you don't even have to use a mouse you can use it in a glass surface you can use it in your palm uh, in your in your i mean in your ties if you need to even in, in as long as you have a surface that's no issue there but this one my table is all white I use this one and uh, when it's in the table that is white it wouldn't even work well it needs a mouse pad although it doesn't have a trackball it just needs something dark and something more textured for it to work perfectly in the desired function DPI sensitivity and whatnot but this one basically works in any kind of surface and that's what I loved about it and the ergonomics of this one I didn't even experience any kind of wrist pain I do have RSI and I didn't experience an RSI using this mouse and this one because of the lightness and the kind of slope that it has here kind of cost me and again a palm pain now and I just observed it recently so I tried to look for a white one of this in a more affordable version of this and uh, Rapu produces quite a nice series of mouse or mice I don't know how you would call it but it's a mouse and I ordered it a while ago and it, it arrived possibly around two months ago but I didn't have the time to review it now I'm just ripping up the plastic didn't have the time to open it up use it up and whatnot because I tried to revert back to using this although I feel like I need to review it now I just didn't have the time to review anything for a while because of some job offers and some more work that needs to be done but here you go we have this now so I'm kind of cutting it up open and I'm reviewing it for you it is the title of this video but you know I just haven't opened it up and show you and use it but I'm sure it's gonna be cool because it is basically I think it's a copy or a base off of this one 
you see so it's from logitech as well as you can see and uh, i was glad i could i could find this it's not from the mx series this is the mx series but i think because it's logitech it's based off of this the mx series this is really really good mouse a really good mouse and uh, this one was uh, a g series uh, g304 light speed and this one also used light speed i think the old version of this i think the sole of the old version of the mx series is put into this version here it's quite affordable and as you can see it has light speed it's a high performance wireless technology that delivers ultra low latency that's what i needed and the sensor use this is important some of you don't really think about this but in my profession yeah if, if your profession is a doctor you need a good maybe a good stethoscope or a good um, tool to use and for us designers you need to have at least the best tool that you can use that you can afford and this this is very very affordable and i was surprised that this was being sold not in the mx line but in the g series of logitech and i just when i saw light speed and the hero sensor and it exactly looks similar to my old mx and it's in white i'm sold yeah i'm just sold so yeah let's open this up and uh, i won't hold it much longer i'm just going to show you how it works this video is going to be quite a little bit long than usual because i'm trying to explain and some of my friends are arguing that you don't need high quality mouse you just need the uh, 200 peso or 10 dollar mouse but you'll be amazed if you use that right mouse for your job and yeah if you can get one of the mx series i suggest you get one of those but for now i'm just gonna review this later in a few while that i use it but for now i'm gonna you i'm gonna review the aesthetics the container what happens in here and one of the things that i immediately notice quite light okay and uh, here you go it has a G logo, it has the same button as the MX, see, kind of same placement, the shape is different, but the slope is quite similar, see there, aside from the aesthetic design here, but the slope is quite similar, size, the width, almost similar, roll wheel is plastic, but here is kind of, of something, something unique, something more premium here, but it's quite okay here, the cli it's clicky. The same on the other side the positioning is quite similar so basically it's like the old version of this in a white body and in a g series mouse and one of the things that i'm glad this one has that this one doesn't one of the things that will happen here is you run out of bat batteries and you can't replace it and this one is quite <clears throat> replaceable as you can see oh and one other thing this one can automatically sync to three devices by just pressing a button this one i don't think has that feature because this one has it you can immediately click this and you can program this button any way you like and then you can switch between devices whether it is a tablet or a cell phone or mobile phone and your computer you can just click it here this one i don't think it has one for now and in the looks department it reminds me of a stormtrooper the kind of white matches my, my style or the style of my desk right now and what else is inside the box let's see okay i'm just gonna pull the the container here and leave it there so when you pull that one you have this uh, i think yeah let me check there's a bunch of paper here so i'm just gonna show you what's inside so there's nothing else there so yeah it's a g304 from logitech so you have this quick start guide how to install the batteries meaning it has batteries you can replace it how to connect it how to charge it all of those stuff basic stuff okay then uh, you have this warranty card in case you need you your warranty and uh, again i don't understand it's in chinese or in japanese this uh, logitech sticker okay so i have a sticker and then this logitech welcome life is more fun when you play it's um it's a gaming version yeah so they have this i just 
no i don't know what is what that is for i think it's for the software and then you have this okay so it includes a battery okay and uh, the cord okay so this is the cord for it and i'm not sure let me check I saw in the manual, the quick guide, that there is a uh, universal a unifying receiver, but I don't see one in the box. So let's just check it out. Okay, so I don't think you have a universal receiver with it. I'm not sure. Let me check that again. Okay, so in the quick start guide, it has this one here. Okay. Oh, it's hidden inside the the body okay you it has it inside the body so it's here so you just this one that the dots here are for pushing this down there you go you have the unifying receiver here this one so it's a G series unifying receiver I do have a logitech receiver already attached on my computer I'm not sure it's, if it's gonna work the same so I'm just gonna install the battery here so it goes, I think, um, let me check it again, just to make sure, um, okay, negative, negative in first, okay, so, like so, and immediately it lights up blue, cool, nice color there, so again, to compare this one, this one is green, it also has a light here, it's, it's exactly the same positioning and whatnot, so this is cool this is pretty cool it, it's basically based off of the mx series the old series and that's it and it's it's probably off in the red position it's gonna be on in the blue position and i do have my unifying receiver but it's not working for my computer right now so i'm just gonna attach this one and and we'll see if, if it immediately works so you can hear the connecting sound and yeah it needs its own receiver and it's quite nice okay so i'm just gonna test it out in terms of uh, the surface here and it's working in any kind of surface yeah that's so cool so you, yeah guys just make sure you get the right details on your mouse i guess when you see light speed you take that one because you're not gonna have some latency issues make sure you have this hero sensor and i think it's a dark thing they call it something kind of dark thing sensor but it's actually based of a hero the hero sensor is based off of this sensor it's gonna work in any kind of surface that you would use it so that's it for my review of uh, the g304 from logitech it's a good mouse i suggest you go get it thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video that i'm gonna put up take care